Daughter. So, in this example, ladies and gentlemen, um, again, what I discussed last problem, the basic thing, Tyler, that we want to do is we want to again identify, we want to be able to again identify what is our least common denominator. All right, so when solving rational expressions, we want to get rid of our rational expressions. Tyler, seriously, stop. So, as we're going over this, you need to, again, to determine the LCD with polynomials is really not that difficult. We can basically just take the product of our um, two denominators that we already have. Okay. Now, again, to eliminate, all we're simply going to do is multiply our LCD on both sides of our equation. So therefore, I have 2x plus 7 times x minus 1, 2x plus 7 times x minus 1. Okay. Now, by doing that, you guys can see we can now use the um, division property. I have 2x plus 7 over 2x plus 7, which divides to 1. I have x minus 1 over x minus 1, which divides to 1. So basically, by doing that, I now have x times x minus 1 equals x minus 5 times 2x plus 7. Does everybody see that? OK. So now, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do is now you just apply distributive property and, and multiply. Hopefully you guys remember FOIL and so forth. So here I have x squared minus x equals 2x squared plus 7x minus 10x minus 35, right? Yes? Yeah. Okay. I can simplify this. x squared minus x equals 2x squared um, minus 3x minus 35. And now, ladies and gentlemen, basically what I'm going to do is now get all of my variables to one side. So I'll subtract an x squared, and then I'll add an x. And therefore, I have 0 equals x squared minus 2x minus 35. However, ladies and gentlemen, again, what we need to do now is factor this, right? We're trying to solve for x, and x is a quadratic equation equal to 0. So to solve for this, I have to go back to my factoring technique, which we've been going over and over and over again, which you guys have to make sure you know how to do. So here we have negative 35 over negative 2. What we're doing is we're trying to determine what two numbers multiply to give me negative 35 but then add to give me a negative 2. Very good, Amy. So 0 equals x minus 7 times x plus 5. Right? Then we can obviously apply the zero product property, which states if you have two expressions is set multiplied equals 0, then one of them um, or both of them are going to equal 0. So I'd say x minus 7 equals 0, x plus 5 equals 0, x equals 7, x equals negative 5. Then again, we go back up to our original problem. Can, if we plugged in 7 or 5 into either of these expressions, would it make our denominator 0? No. So we're good. So therefore, those, are, those solutions are both going to work out. Okay. If, for instance, let me just give you guys an example. <coughs> 